Developing news at the top. New construction of the border wall in the valley is now approved. Government contracted crews are set to break ground in the spring. Yeah, and they'll be building six miles of a levee and fence wall. Channel 5's Kristen Von Pricing joins us with the details. The contractor's been selected, millions of dollars set aside to pay for it, and now we know where the construction will start. In the Rio Grande Valley, there are earthen levees. They're part of our flood control system, and they keep water out of our cities. In the valley, there's also border fencing. Bollard steel pillars keep undocumented immigrants out of key points near the border. Then there's the existing levee wall system. Under the Bush administration, Hidalgo County gained 20 miles of it. Early last year, the government said it intended to add more. The levee wall consists of the concrete base, which is about 10 to 15 feet tall, and it keeps the flood waters out of the valley. Also, the security aspect, the bollard fencing, another 10 to 15 feet high to keep people out. Customs and Border Protection says they now have $145 million ready to pay SLS Co., a Galveston company which took a contract earlier this year to replace existing border walls in San Diego. The government says the work will include a 150-foot enforcement zone along the wall where vegetation will be removed and what they call an all-weather patrol road. The government says the construction will happen in Hidalgo County, and we've asked them exactly where that will be, but they have not told us a specific location. In the newsroom, Christian Bond Pricing, Channel 5 News at 6.